Freiburg, Germany. This is a story about a woman and her pet parrot, but not just any pet parrot, an African gray parrot with a gift for mimicry. Meet Hugo. This is the owner and best friend, Regina Seifert. In 1988, Regina has just married the man of her dreams, Romeo. They had found each other after Regina, looking for a soulmate, had placed a personal ad in the newspaper. Regina knew she had found Mr. Wright. He wrote that he might like to sit in front of the fire with a glass of wine, listening to nice music, maybe go dancing. Really everything that a woman wants to hear and everything that a woman would like to do. Love bloomed, and after a quick courtship, the two married. But he's away a lot of time on business, so that leaves a lot of time for Regina and Hugo to bond. The parrot is a fantastic companion, and she spends hours in conversation with the bird. The power of speech comes naturally to these creatures. Meet parrot expert, Sonny Stallenmeyer. The gray parrot is probably most famous for its speaking ability, purely because it can pick up so many words, use them in context, and um, use different tones in its voice, like a female or male voice. You can, you can tell the distinction. And also, they make great pets because they are quite affectionate and they interact with the family a lot. Regina and Hugo are truly a pair. But Romeo is also looking for a little companionship, but not with a parrot. Yes, Uta. Romeo's business trips are all a lie. He's having an affair with a woman named Uta. I know, Uta. I miss you too. Look, we go out on a little vacation. <laughs> Regina is oblivious, and Romeo thinks he's getting away with it. But what he doesn't notice is that someone else in the house is on to him, someone whose intelligence he seriously underestimates. It's between you and I. I adore you, Uta. Hugo accurately hones an impression of Romeo, and his favorite new word is something he's hearing a lot, a woman's name, Uta. I was very shocked because we don't know any Uta, so I thought there must be something wrong here. There's no Uta amongst our friends. There's no Uta in the family. Who is this Uta? Hugo is relentless with his calls for Uta, delivered in a voice that perfectly mimics husband Romeo. Regina's suspicions lead her to do something she's never done, open her husband's mail. I saw that there was a trip for two, booked to Paris, for Uta, such and such. Who is she? Uta! Uta! All right. Uta is my mistress. Are you happy now? Romeo's affair is now in the open. Regina makes her intentions clear as well. Go and be with Uta! Better that than a bloody parrot. <laughs> Hugo has played the stool pigeon by sticking his beak into Romeo's affair. <laughs> Regina's marriage is over, but the friendship between a woman and her parrot lives on. Did a parrot really help to uncover a cheating husband? Did this happen? So that leaves us with the little feathered fellow named Hugo, the story of the parrot that could mimic voices and spill the beans about an affair. That was totally true. He really did listen, learn, and repeat Regina's cheating husband's phone calls, tipping off his owner. For those who know parrots, the behavior isn't a surprise. Uh -huh.
very common for parrots to be protective over the one they choose to be their mate. So if they consider another person to be an intruder on that relationship, they will defend their particular mate. Polly, or Hugo in this case, really does deserve a cracker. So, did you guess correctly? If you were thrown off by the talking bird, never mind. There will be three more stories for you to consider on the next Urban Legends.